What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Twigger here with your daily dose of League of Legends, coming at you with another high ELO commentary, this time featuring the one, the only mid laner from Team Dignitas, that is Skara, playing on AP Nidalee. I am super excited to be casting a game with Skara on Nidalee. It is a very skilled AP Nidalee player, and it's also just something about seeing uh, AP Nidalee in games. When you see those long-range spears and those poke comps doing like half of the health of a tank on the enemy team, like it's a lot of fun to watch. And you really have some of those kind of like breathtaking moments where somebody gets really poked down. It happens so frequently. But um, looking at Scar's team comp that he has going on here, they do have kind of like a mix of an engage and poke comp. Having people like Jana Varus and Nidalee really having that strong poke potential, but also having champions like. Jax and like Shivana who have very good engage potential and with somebody like Varus popping his ultimate it really brings that entire team together that they can poke and poke and poke but if they get engaged on they have some great engage counter engage themselves so he's going up against a Gragas and Gragas is one of those champions especially being a melee champion similar to Cassidy in, in that if he's going up against a ranged mid champion the early game for Gragas is going to kind of suck um he has to get in melee range to get those last hits. His barrels and belly slam are not strong enough um, to actually get those caster minions in the first shot. So he's going to be taking quite a bit of harass, but he does have, it looks like, two pots with that Doran's ring. So going a very similar build to the Nidalee, but it's going to be interesting to see how much damage he might take from the auto attacks of Scar's Nidalee. But we do have a lot of potential for late game coming out of both these teams. Vayne being on the purple team and also Jax especially being on the uh, the blue team. Both of those people being huge late game hyper carries. But what I am very excited for is that in the top lane going up against our Jax is the Teemo. <laughs> I never get to really see Teemo in these high ELO games. So seeing somebody in Diamond playing a Teemo is going to be a lot of fun just to see what he can do and whether it really will not work against a, a fairly commonly played champion like Jax, um, or whether maybe Teemo will surprise us. I really hope he does, because I do love watching Teemo, and I love watching like him lay down those traps and try to make people walk into them during fights. It's it's He's a really fun champion to play, but whether or not he's viable in the high yellow scene, only time will tell, folks. And we're already seeing down the bot lane a lot of damage going down onto Varus. And he's uh, managing to poke back, getting Vayne down quite a bit. And as you can see, both of them went for the Doran's Blade start. So they do have a little bit of sustain, but they don't have any sustain coming out of their lane partners. It is just going to be shields from the Janna and the Lulu. So it's going to have to try to prevent damage that they see incoming rather than healing damage that's already happened. The Doran's Blade, sadly, from these two AD carries are not really going to provide a whole lot of um, lifesteal, but it will provide a little bit that if they don't get hit for quite a while, they should be able to pick themselves back up here. And as we can already see, um, Varus is looking pretty healthy. Vayne is still taking quite a bit of harass because of the long range of Varus, um, especially when it comes to his piercing arrow. But um, wait until you see the late game. If it gets late enough, Vayne will take down a Varus, I can tell you that much. So uh, the bot lane is going to be probably a little bit more favored in the blue side for the first little bit, but uh, it does mean they're going to be probably a bit pushed up, and it could make Udir, uh, and it could make an Udir gank possible. But he is going to be ganking against a Janna, who is arguably one of the best people to uh, stifle ganks. And Vayne is getting dangerously low here. If uh, Varus gets a good piercing arrow off, um, she does not even have a barrier. So. Yeah, she is going to go B now. I was wondering kind of what she was doing, but it looks like Shavana might get a little bit caught out here. They did seem to know that she was there. Nidalee going to do as much damage as she can to the Gragas, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. The first blood probably going down on the Shavana. Udyr picking that one up. Another great spear coming out of Skara, but it's not going to be enough to pick off the Gragas, and now he's turning to try to take down the Udyr, but it's not going to be enough. Just a very successful gank on the part of Udyr and Gragas. Uh, there must have been a ward there. They did seem to ping Shivana. Uh, when she was just standing in that brush so it's really unfortunate when the first blood happens against your team's jungler because that means that her buffs are now gone and her pressure in terms of ganking potential is completely gone um Varus trying to pick up the lulu is not actually going to get it the barrier being popped janice shield i don't believe is up yet but the flash coming down oh and there's going to be the kill for the vein <clears throat> but very sorry the uh, lulu actually got taken down from i believe the janitor tornado i'm actually kind of curious as to how that happened 
I just want to watch this fight again. Let's see what the Lulu's doing. So she's just chilling. La, 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 la. And all of a sudden, a tornado comes and boom, picks up the Lulu. So a kill for the Janna, but I'm wondering if Vayne, no, she is not going to chase. A couple too many minions there. Could have probably uh, picked off the Vayne. <coughs> Sorry about that. But overall, pretty good fight in the bot lane. Uh, Vayne picking up a kill. Lulu even getting an assist for that Varus kill. But Varus picking up an assist alongside the kill going to Janna. So a little bit more in favor of the uh, purple team. But it looks like, no, Janna, what were you doing? <coughs> she was like completely out of mana and just allowed that one to happen. But it looks like we have a gank going up against the cute and cuddly Teemo trying to run away now with the ignite on him. Doesn't look like the blue team is going to want to chase that one any further. That blinding dart paying dividends right there. But don't know what Janna was thinking, being completely out of mana. Going up against a Vayne, whose passive is to speed her up while running towards a champion. So I don't know what she was thinking, but um, gave Vayne a free kill. So now Vayne's sitting at 2-0-0. Zero, zero. It's, it's going to be some scary stuff getting into this mid-game. And as we can see... Lulu is uh, getting a gank from Udyr, even without the vein in lane, and Varus is just going to stand there and take it. There's nothing he can do. Great gank from the Udyr. I think he went all the way around through the uh, the enemy team's jungle because they do have a vision ward over by the backside of that red buff. And he just ran all the way around and joined in with the CC from the Lulu and took down that Varus who just got back to lane. And Scar having a flash away from that Udyr coming around to get another gank in. So the blue team must know now that there's a pink ward somewhere in that, uh, in their jungle, the red side of their jungle, because Udyr is now just making a home in there. And it looks like Varus is, might miss a few CS here, a lot of CS going into this turret. And there's the ultimate coming out of the Gragas. He does, Scar does manage to get a heal off. I don't know if these tower shots are going to be enough to kill him. Udyr being a good jungler there and blocking the spear for his uh, mid laner. Making sure that he doesn't go down to that one. If one more tower shot had gone off, it might have been the death of Gragas. But it would have been very, very close. So Scar managing to avoid getting killed there. But also not picking up a kill himself. And uh, we still just have a slight advantage going towards that Gragas. Taking a good chunk of damage from that spear but once again Udyr coming around Nidalee does have her cat form though gonna have to try to jump over this wall currently not going um, popping the barrier to try to kill the Gragas but it's not enough and there goes Scar so a kill going to Gragas and Scar taking his first death of the game not exactly sure why he didn't uh, try to just jump over the wall rather than uh, try to kill the Gragas because there was no way even if he killed the Gragas that he was gonna get out of that one there's the ultimate coming out of Shivana, going to try to take down the Gragas, but a flash coming out of him. Kind of a waste of a flash, I would say. He could have just gone back and not wasted the flash, but, you know, successful move by Shivana, but her ultimate is down now, so she's not going to have that kind of gank pressure that Shivana really looks for for the next, I don't know, minute or so until she charges that back up. But, um, all in all, kind of a, a pretty even game here, I have to say. Um... Just in terms of the, the money, it's not really a large goldie that we would normally see in a 5-1 game um, at nearly 8 minutes in. Um, but it looks like, once again, we're taking a lot of damage out in the spot lane. Vayne is really waiting for her, um, her tumble to come back up. The Janna taking a couple too many shots here, but Varus doing a very good job at poking down this Vayne, but he is still level 5, so doesn't even have his ultimate available. It's not like he's going to be turning level 6 anytime soon either. He still has quite a few minions to get through. Um, in order to hit that level 6, but I don't know if they're planning on engaging once level 6 happens, but Scar going in onto this Gragas, and it looks like Udyr is right here. Scar jumps over the wall, does a great jump, but does not realize that Udyr was right there, and there's going to be another kill for the Gragas. So Scar, you know, trying his best to make some plays happen here, but this Udyr is making life hell for this blue team, and now it looks like Udyr is just going to run straight up into this top lane and see what he can do against this Jax to maybe help his Teemo friend out. Because as we can see, Udyr is still at full HP, and same with Teemo, while Jax is sitting at, well, just above a quarter of his HP. And it looks like we have the dive going down right now, so I want to see this one happen. Jax is just going to try to counter-strike Udyr underneath the turret. He does get the counter-strike off, and the flash is going to go down, but it's not going to be enough to pick up the Udyr, and that's going to be a kill for the Teemo onto the Jax. So it just looks like, as I was saying, that the the game was not looking too bad for the blue team. It's looking pretty darn bad now. The Varus ultimate coming out onto the Vayne. It's not even going to travel over to the Lulu. The cleanse coming out so very quickly from the Vayne. Very, very nicely played. But it looks like they might try to chase this one down a little bit. It looks like they like their odds, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to really engage on this as much as they want to. 
Um, why, why are you going straight to a guy respawning? <laughs> I wanted to see what was going in the bot lane, but it looks like the first turret of the game going down in that top lane in favor of the blue team, so we're already looking at about a 3.5k gold lead, and the exhaust coming down onto Varus, and Lulu's just going to pick that one up because she was not exhausted. Um, Shivana going to try to come in here and clean some stuff up. Picks up the vein. It looks like going for the double kill. Going to get that double kill. Picking off Lulu as well. But Janna not getting an assist on that Lulu kill. And nor did Varus. So Varus sitting at 0-3-2. and two, Really not a very healthy ADC score. But, you know, Shivana coming in and picking up those two kills. Definitely gives a little bit of light to this very bleak game that the blue team is currently having. And uh, Scar has just not been able to uh, make the plays happen onto this Gregus that he wants. Um... Truly does not have really enough health to even deal with the the amount of damage that Gregson can burst out onto him. So, has to be very, very careful about it. Looks like Teemo is now just kind of like setting up his traps. Um, already does have quite a few shrooms here and already sent one off onto the Jax. Going to try to pop his speed boost to try to get Jax into this brush. He's going to get hit by another shroom. I don't know if Teemo is going to have enough to get away from this one, but he is leading Jax on a path. That's exactly what he wants to do. Um, lead him away from that uh, the safety of places that don't have mushrooms in them but it looks like Gragas is going to come over the dragon was already taken by the Gragas and the Udyr and um, that's going to give them a nice substantial gold lead pinning Scar up against the wall and Scar is just going to throw a spear to try to get away from this one does not do enough damage to really threaten Gragas all that much but uh, just padding the gold lead for this purple team 17.9k well 18k to 14k so a 4k gold lead um, already going for this team. Scary, scary stuff. Hard to come back from uh, from deficits like that. But Udyr once again waiting in the wings. And a lot of damage going down onto Gragas. The uh, the flash coming out of the Shivana to try to get in here. But Gragas is just going to go right over the wall. And once again, Scar getting picked off while Gragas just gets away from that one with his body slam. Not really sure what Scar can do about this one. But he's, he's currently playing very aggressively and not to his avail. But the ultimate from Lulu coming out, going to pretty much counteract that ultimate from Varus. The Jan ultimate coming out to try to heal up the Varus as much as they can because they did do pretty well in that fight. But the ultimate from Lulu just too much to handle and Vayne just getting right back nearly to full health with that Bilge Water Cutlass. So all in all a better fight for that purple team. And uh, the Vayne did use her ultimate as well, so it's not like we're going to be really seeing an ultimate fight here, but they could very well do enough poke damage to dive this one if they get a very nice condemn and a shield from the Lulu. But um, I don't believe that one's going to happen. But as we can see, as I'm saying, that Udyr is making his way down, but so is Shivana, so we might see a uh, tower dive into a counter gank. But Udyr is coming here. The speed was going down onto uh, Udyr from Lulu. And can Scar land a clutch spear? I don't know what he's doing. He's taking... What? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. He just was running at him with auto attacks. <laughs> so, true idea on Udyr going to be tower diving this one. Picking up a kill on Zavaris. It looks like Shivana is going to try to get in here. She does pick up the Lulu. But uh, are they going to have enough to chase down the Shivana? No, they will not. So, all in all, this is going very, very well for this purple team. Already sitting at 12 and 4. 21.7k to 16.2k. Skara really not having the best game here. 0, 4, and 0. And uh, Gragas, fucking Oktoberfest Gragas, just having a time here. Uh, drinking beer, taking names, having a good old time. And uh, I have to say, out of all the people on this purple team who have had the best game, I would say it would be Udyr, because he has just caused absolute havoc. Um, in all the lanes, he's done successful ganks in the bot lane, successful ganks in the middle lane, and even successful ganks in the top lane against a Jax with a Teemo. So, some difficult stuff that he had to do, and they all came in the early game, so he really gave his team the advantages that they needed. And it looks like Teemo going to have a great time against his Jax right now. The Ignite coming down, but Shivana is here to counter gank this a little bit. She does not have her ultimate available, though, so it's just going to be running after this Teemo as much as you can. But Teemo once again leading her into a Shroom. There's the Pink Ward, not really going to help at all. And Teemo is going to pretty much 2v1 that. And, uh... He's not going to kill anybody, but he's going to assert his dominance of standing in that lane and putting down mushrooms and blinding people. So, Scar taking a bit of damage, nearly half of his HP just from a body slam and barrel combo. The uh, Gregus ultimate is available, so we can probably pick that one up soon. It looks like Varus is just going to go down here, knocking them up for fun with that Lulu ultimate kind of on a trampoline. A great condemn coming out of the Janna, sorry, the, uh, the Vayne. And it looks like they're just going to chase down this Janna. One more shot, we'll get the proc, and then it'll be a tumble. Tumble! Tumble! 
How long are the cooldowns? I know she already used one double, but it looks like Lulu tried to flash it for that one, but they're not actually going to pick up that Janna. So, all in all, you got to take uh, your successes where you can. Janna did escape that one, but um, <laughs> it's just a 4-1-2 vein. And uh, Janna now coming to try to seal the deal on this Udyr, but <laughs> Udyr just flashes in and picks off the Janna because she was so low. So Scar going to try to get in onto this Gragas. He is just going to turn around and probably kill the Scar. But we have a little bit of fight going down onto, it looks like the Vayne? No, Shivana. Sorry, I could not tell who was in that exhaust right there. But Shivana getting picked off, Scar getting picked off. I don't really know what this team can do right now. 16 and 4, 26, well, 27k to 18k. It's just, it is not looking good. And, you know, it's fun seeing somebody like a team who is not a conventional pick. Having a pretty good game. Um, beating Jackson CS. Um... You know, he, he's been he's been doing pretty darn well. He did receive a very good gank um, from the Udyr. And the fact of the matter is, Shivana's had to spend more time picking up for uh, their team in the bot lane and the mid lane. But it looks like Varus is getting towered over here. Varus is just getting absolutely decimated by this Vayne. Um, but it looks like Janna and them might be able to do something here. The piercing arrow going down, taking Vayne down very, very low, but it looks like the Janna might go down here. Yep, the Janna is going to go down from the Vayne. I think she had the red buff that picked off that one. And poor Varus is not having any luck here, does not manage to pick off the Lulu. So, so low, the both of them. So unfortunate for Varus, but, you know, it was well played by the, uh, the Lulu-Vayne combo. And now maybe Varus can get a very lucky piercing arrow here. He's going to go for it. He's going to miss it. <laughs> Lulu just moving to the right, standing still. And so Shivana's going to try to get in here. The Condemn can go down, though, and take her completely away from this one. And Vayne is just going to turn and start fighting her. Because look at that. She's at nearly 100 health. And here comes the Udyr. Varus is just going to stand there and take whatever he's going to get. There you go. There's the unstoppable for the Udyr. And it looks like Scar is going to try to take on this Gragas one more time. His barrel is up, that ultimate, and his ignite. So I think this could be a very easy kill. <laughs> there you go. Scar going down pretty damn easily. And now Shivana running for dear life, trying to get away from this. I don't think she's going to be successful, but she is pretty quick. But against an Udyr and a Vayne, two very, very fast champions, I don't think she's going to have much luck. So stunned underneath the turret. There's the kill. Unstoppable going towards the Vayne as well. So we have, there's the Teemo just split pushing alongside that Gragas. So we have a 6-0-6 Udyr, a 1-0-0 Teemo, a 5-0-2 Gragas, and a 7-1-2 Vayne. You can't really get much better than that. Uh, <laughs> the blue, sorry, the purple team is just having a great game, and there's not really a whole lot that the blue team can do against this. So Gragas just going to body slam over that wall, get completely away from that Jax, and Jax, who's supposed to be the hyper carry of this team, and the one who's actually done the best, even though his lane got kind of decimated, um, he's only 0-1-0, and, and he's managed to keep up with uh, Teemo generally in CS. So, you know, even the guy who's done half decently is getting absolutely picked apart by these guys who have just had godlike games. Well, I can't say they've had godlike games yet. They're not godlike, but they're unstoppable right now. So, you know, just cannot keep up with them. They're just doing so much damage. They're doing so well. And um, to face facts, you have a Vayne who's 7-1-2. Good luck in your late game. <laughs> You're not going to be able to do very well. But it looks like Teemo might get engaged on here. Nope, he's just going to run away, pop that speed boost. And now Scara getting to flash away from that barrel, and it's pushing him further away. So he might survive a couple seconds longer. He did survive a couple seconds longer, so you got to take your victories where you can get them. But it looks like Greg is just going to turn around, get that Lulu ultimate. Dude, the majority of the damage to the Varus. And Varus is going to go down. There's the godlike. Yay, now he's had a godlike game. So don't go up against the godlike Gragas. But damn the amount of damage coming out of that guy. And with Udyr being so tanky and the disengage from Gragas, your Vayne is just going to be able to run amok and do whatever the hell she damn well pleases, taking down everybody on your team. So I do not see the blue team coming back from this one. I think one of the few ways that they might be able to come back is if everybody on the purple team uh, DCs at the same time and cannot come back. But it um, does not look like that's going to happen. So it looks like Teemo is already pretty darn low trying to run away from this Jax. He will have his blindy dart available, but I don't think the Jax is going to be able to even catch up on that one. So Greg is going to try to escape this one. Does get a spear in the face from Nidalee. Going to flash over the wall, though. Great flash from him. And he's going to escape this one. So <laughs> baiting everybody in, doing so much damage to him, but not going to be enough. And it looks like the uh, Blade of the Rune King going down on her Shivana. The Vein is going to take down that one, getting herself a double kill, killing the Varus as well. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is going to be GG here, folks. Once we hit that 20-minute mark, it does not look good for Skara and the blue team. 
And it looks like Vayne is now just probably going to pick off this Scar as well. There's going to be the triple kill, uh, currently unofficial, I believe. But there's Vayne going to get the Janna. There's the uh, the double kill, but in quotations, because it is technically a quadra kill, just unofficially. So, yeah, I don't think you can deal with that. <laughs> Vayne is just absolutely dominating people, and I'm sorry to say, but if Jax was there, it would have been a pentakill for the, uh, the Vayne as well. So, there goes the first inhibitor turret of the game. I don't know if they're going to stay for the actual inhibitor, because I'm pretty sure that in 15 seconds the blue team is going to surrender. Because there is not... I, I doubt that the blue team, even if they tried their hardest here, could really come back from this one. They don't have the best late game team um, in comparison to this purple team, so even if they waited it out to, like... 70 minutes. I still don't think that they would have a good time here, but Greg is finally showing that he is human. Varus learning to dodge incredibly by just standing still and not doing a damn thing. So, <laughs> I guess he finally made a play happen there. But, um, it looks like the blue team has not yet surrendered. So, we are past the 20 minute mark, so they could have surrendered by this point, but they are content to just kind of sit here and wait. So the Counter-Strike coming out of the Jacks, going to try to stun. There we go. There's the Surrender. I was wondering what was going to happen there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that game, showing that even the professional players have their very off game. Scar and Nidalee being 0, 8, and 0 that game. But seeing some pretty sweet plays and also seeing some interesting picks like Teemo up in the top lane going up against a Jax. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one, and I will see you guys in the next game.